All right, welcome back. And now we're going to talk about women in leadership here at Anaxel 2024. And with me, I have Laura Klinky Borgman, and I also have uh, Jacqueline McBride. And they're going to be talking about the women in leadership. Uh, it's a symposium. It but was between three organizations. Now we have a fourth organization. And so, will you tell us just a little bit about the history, uh, so that we can yeah. we can talk on that? Sure, absolutely. I'm excited to be here as sort of the representative from Anaxel. It's a really cool joint um, event through a bunch of different uh, conference or uh, uh, organizations. So I'm excited to be talking about it at this conference. Um, this first year was my well, this year was my first year on the planning committee, um, and it happened just this about a month or so ago, May 15th. Our uh, theme was leading with purpose and passion, but um, it is a joint conference between Anaxel, SSH, uh, Simgos, and ASPE. And it's my understanding that Simgos, this was the first year that Simgos got to, was, was part of the team. Um, it started back in 2018, um, started by SSH, an in-person conference yes. in NYC in 2018, and then in Dallas in 2019, and then shortly after that, um, Anaxel and Aspie joined forces to join up with SSH. But the true purpose of it really, it, it was basically created to be kind of this interactive day uh, for both personal and professional development featuring renowned speakers, discussion, relationship building for women in leadership in simulation. So, um, and it's been, it's been a really awesome experience for me to be a part of, so. Yeah, and so, um I w I've had the honor of being the representative for Anaxel one year and then for uh, SSH two years. And it is so wonderful because this is the second time that we've done things. So we have the regional, those uh, best practice workshops, and we have women in leadership. And it's just wonderful to see so many people think that these are competing organizations we don't get along and that is the beauty of healthcare simulation is that we all have a niche we all get along and we do work together and collaborate and we come up with so much better of a product right. by doing that that's very so. true that's very true all right um, at SimGhost, we always believe uh, there isn't a competition, right? right? We all have our own schools of fish. We're all in the same big ocean, and we all work together. We were so delighted to be a part of this year. Um, it's really important because there's a lot of women in Sim techs and Sim op positions, and giving, you know, there might be very, very talented, very educated women, but unless they show this confidence and this leadership ability, they're not going to get promoted. Right. And so that we're giving them these intangible in skills, yeah. it takes them to the next level. So we were just, you know, we were embraced to come in, on board and uh, look forward to many years ahead. And I think that was, that was one of those gaps that when you looked at it from a needs assessment is that a lot of, we saw every year more sim techs were coming, more sim ops people. And we needed to get, you know, the bigger sim ops organization involved so that we could give that to their members because it is that invaluable thing. Now, we, you know, some of the topics that we talked about um, before, and then I'll let you yeah. talk about this last year, yeah. is that, you know, we talked about filling the imposter syndrome. Yeah. You know, and then we talked about how to be resilient because we were all needing resiliencies um, refurbished after COVID. And, you know, and that is the thing is that these organizations keep adjusting to meet the needs of all their members, right. you know. And so there are so many times you can't get away for all the different conferences that you want to attend and you don't have the money to do it. Right. And neither do the, in the organizations. Right. So being able to do a virtual conference at a very reasonable rate is, is a big key. So tell us about yeah. this one this year. Yeah, so this past one that just happened in May of 24, like I said, the title was Leading with Purpose and Passion. And um, the biggest sort of key um, emphasis points was 
uh, emotional intelligence, which I think is a really interesting topic um, for people. And then also the relation or the um, importance of mentor mentee relationships. And kind of as you were saying, I think both of those topics are so important uh, for everyone, but specifically, you know, it's a women in leadership conference. And I think a lot of times women struggle with some of those topics, thinking they're sort of alone. And I really appreciate the ability for women to kind of come together and hear from other women, I'm having the same vulnerabilities, I'm having the same insecurities, I would love to have a mentor, but I'm not sure how to reach out or what to do. And um, I think that's really important just when you get people together anytime to really be able to understand, like, I'm not alone. These are the same concerns of other women and other people out there. And how can we come together and kind of maximize that uh, to grow the grow the, the women <laughs> and, and I think when we did the year with the imposter syndrome I can remember Beth Mancini a previous president of SSH saying that every time before she got ready to walk out on stage she was going somebody's going to ask me a question I'm not going to know the answer and I, I, they're going to know that I don't know and, and we all have those little doubts or the majority I won't say all but a majority of us do when you hear somebody else that you look up to have those same feelings yeah. that you go okay I'm normal, That's you right. know, and not That's a right. lot of times can we say we're normal. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. And not only is it normal, but that, it, that it's sort of like, okay, well, if you're feeling that way and you're, I see you doing these things and being successful and having, you know, having this success, I think it really helps for people who are kind of coming up through the pipeline to hear that and to see that and to know that and to be like, if you can do that, I can do it. And I think it's that empowerment that I really enjoy about being part of this group, so. You know, um, coming into simulation, I used to run a physician surgical association for many, many years. And coming into simulation, it has just been such a breath of fresh air. Nothing against the physicians and the surgeons. (laughs) But to see the community and how we all want to empower each other in simulation is just mind-blowing to me, just absolutely mind-blowing to me. So one of the speakers, Billy Pascal, a former board member of SimGhost, um, carries on our mentor-mentee program at SimGhost, and I was so delighted that she was able to speak about that because it's so important to have that mentor and a mentee. Yes, because you learn from a mentee as much as you learn from a mentor. So, yeah, I think just having that day of being able to get on a computer and hear people with like-minded issues, I think it's so important. And I think as affiliates, Aspie and Axel, SSH and SimGhost, now that we're also doing pre-conferences at each other's conferences, because no one can go to all the conferences, right? So, but sharing that knowledge for people that want to learn about all different aspects of simulation, including leadership, I think is very key. Well, you know, this gets back to some people don't have a whole simulation team. Mm -hmm. So you have to learn the different perspectives. And if you are in leadership, you need to know what your people are doing and what they're going through. So I think that this, it really does fill a need uh, within the simulation community. So uh, I'm sure that this is going to continue on for 2025. Oh, yeah. We're already talking about it. <laughs> yeah, so We're already SS- talking about it. I'm probably, so SSH is hosting 2025, and SimGhost is hosting 2026. All right, so you've heard it here. This always occurs in May. Uh, it's before all the other conferences because we don't want to be in competition. And it's virtual. Uh, topics are not determined until the committee meets. And they, I think, you know, from what I can understand and what we did, we saw what was happening and then we made those decisions that year. Mm-hmm. And you just, you pick things that are relevant at the time. So that's the thing that, that is so nice is that it does stay current. It's not the same thing each year. So, yeah. all right. Anything you would like to leave everyone with as one parting knowledge or uh, a call to action? or something about women in leadership? Well, I would like to, if anyone is interested in being a part of the planning committee or wants to, uh, has um, suggestions of topics, we would be open, I think, as a planning committee, as leaders in different organizations. So I can't stress enough that if you have an interest, please, please. Come and join us. 100%, I would completely agree. And I think, you know, I think that's a really good point too of, especially if you're looking to grow your own leadership skills this is a really good place to start in terms of leadership within any of these organizations it'd be a great committee to start on 
So once again, thanks everyone for listening to us and for the recording if you're here and in the virtual world. Join us virtually in May for Women in Leadership and have a great evening.